In this video, let us look into some of the important properties of circles. The first property states that if two arcs of a circle are congruent, then the corresponding chords are equal. Now let us just look into this statement here. Now let us say, let us consider two arcs now. Say for example, this one arc here, let us name it AB. And say let us consider another arc, say CD. Now if these two arcs are congruent to each other, then their corresponding chords are equal. So the chords for this would be the straight line that joins the ends of the arc. So that would be the chords. So these chords would be equal. The chord AB would be equal to the chord CD if the arc AB and arc CD are congruent to each other. This is what the first statement says. Now let us go on to the second statement. The second statement is kind of converse of the first one or it is kind of the reciprocal of the first one. Two chords of a circle are equal. Say if AB and CD are equal, then their corresponding arcs are congruent to each other. If already we had drawn A, B and C, D, the lines A, B and C, D, the chords A, B and C, D, then their corresponding arcs, arc A, B and arc C, D would be congruent to each other. That is what the second statement states. More important properties of circles. The perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. So first of all, let us have a circle here. So let us have a center of the circle. And let us have a perpendicular, a perpendicular from the center of the circle to where? To a chord. Say let us draw a chord here, AB. Now the perpendicular from the center of the circle to the chord AB bisects the chord. So that is what the first property says. So say for example, if this chord is 10 centimeters in length, then after you draw a perpendicular from the center of the circle onto this chord, it, this becomes 5 cm and this becomes 5 cm. So in simple words, the perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the chord. If the perpendicular is drawn to the chord, then it bisects the chord. Now what the second property says is that it is nothing but it's pretty much the converse of the first property. The line joining the center of a circle to the midpoint of a chord is perpendicular to the chord. Now let us go back. Now say this is a circle now. Now this property says the line joining the center of a circle to the midpoint of a chord. Let us have a chord ready here and say let the midpoint be this one. Now a line joining the center of a circle and the midpoint of the chord is a perpendicular to the chord. This line is going to be at a right angle to the chord, which is nothing but the reverse of the first property. So both properties pretty much mean the same, but the second property is converse of the first property. In this video, let us look into more important properties of circles. Here, this one says if two chords, AB and AC, of a circle are equal, then the center of the circle lies on the angle bisector of angle BAC. Now let's look into this with the help of a diagram. Say let us draw a circle now with center O and let us say there is AB, AB and we have AC. So two chords AB and AC of a circle are equal. Then the center of the circle it lies on the angle bisector of angle BAC. Now let us just join this. So now we have angle BAC. Now the center of the circle lies on the angular bisector or the angle bisector of angle BAC. So this is the bisector of angle BAC. Bisector is nothing but a line which divides an angle into two equal halves. So AO is the bisector of angle BAC and the center of the circle lies on AO is what the property says. Let me repeat the property again once more. If two chords AB and AC of a circle are equal, they are equal, 
then the center of the circle lies on the angle bisector of angle BAC. Let us go to another property which is almost the converse of what we just did. All right, now let us look at the other property which states that if two chords A, B and A, C of a circle with center O are such that the center O lies on the bisector of angle B, A, C, then A, B equals A, C. It's just the other way of looking at this property. Now here, let us take the same figure and say we've got two chords A, B and A, C with a circle of center O here. And we also know that AB is equal to AC. Two chords AB and AC which lie on the circle or which is in the circle. Now if this center O lies on the angle bisector of angle BAC, then AB is equal to AC is what this property states. Just the reverse way of looking at this property, the first property, or it's just the converse of this property. Let us now look into another property. If two circles intersect in two points, then the line through the centers is the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. Now let us back this up with a diagram. It says that if two circles intersect in two points, let us consider one circle now. Considering another circle, now these two circles intersect at two points, that is this point and this point. Let us name them AB. Now if they intersect in two points, then the line through the centers is the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. Now the centers of these circles would be, say let us name it O1 and O2. Now the line through the centers is nothing but it is a perpendicular bisector of the common chord which joins AB. So that is what the last property says here.